Good morning everybody. We will discuss about enthalpy, entropy and free energy. Okay. See, Now, we will discuss one by one, okay? First one is the enthalpy, right? Before going to this enthalpy, you know mechanical water, right? So, uh, this is equal to external pressure into volume, right? This is the mechanical water. And you know, the amount of work you do is not achieved only due to the, uh, the food you eat, right? And you see, this amount of work done is also depending on uh, the energy what is already stored inside you, right? So this amount of work done uh, is not only due to the amount of heat supplied, right? Uh, say the amount of heat supplied is nothing but H. This is not, uh, this is the energy that is supplied to your body. Now you have the uh, energy what is stored inside the body that is called the internal energy, right? This internal energy and the amount of work done decides how much of heat will be absorbed by a system. Now system is, uh, that means us, right? So this is the heat uh, that is absorbed uh, according to what amount of work is done and what is the internal energy already stored inside your body. So we will say uh, the amount of energy or you say heat absorbed or emitted or emitted at constant pressure at constant pressure is called enthalpy. Okay? Now, entropy, okay? See, we'll write one line for this entropy, okay? Entropy is nothing but the own available energy. After that, we'll discuss how uh, this is on available energy. So entropy is the unavailable energy. How? Consider a waterfall, right? Consider a waterfall. Say water coming from the waterfall and falling over a turbine. Okay? Over a turbine. When this water falls on the turbine, okay, the turbine moves. And when this turbine moves, the kinetic energy uh, of the water is converted to uh, uh, its electrical energy. So the water coming directly and falling over this turbine and turbine is converting uh, uh, the uh, kinetic energy to electric energy. But after falling over this turbine, say the water is reserved, water is stored inside a reservoir. This is a reservoir where uh, the water after falling over this turbine is dissolved. Okay? You see, when the water is stored inside this reservoir, and if you place this turbine here inside the turbine, uh, that means inside the reservoir, and the turbine will not move. And this doesn't indicate that this water contained inside the reservoir uh, has no energy. 
how can we prove that uh, uh, the, there is no energy uh, inside, uh, uh, no energy uh, in the water contained in the uh, reservoir? How to prove? Say we can easily prove that uh, the water contained in the reservoir has the energy. What to do? You now make a hole. Say we can make a hole in the reservoir. And water when coming out of the hole, when you will place now that turbine here, if you will place the turbine here, the water from the hole coming out of the reservoir again will, uh, that means fall over the turbine and the turbine will move. Since the turbine now moves, we made that unavailable energy into available energy, right? But when that was stored in the reservoir, it has no energy. It seems, it seems, it, it, it not that it is not the case that it is not having energy. It has energy, but it is not available to us when that is in the reservoir. So sometimes what happens, whatever energy that is contained inside a body that cannot be wholly you know, converted into work. A part of the energy is unavailable to us and we cannot convert that part of energy into useful work. What we have, what we have written, unavailable energy, right? Unavailable energy and that is not, that is nothing but the entropy. Did you get me? So we will now convert it into a mathematical formula, right? That is called entropy. See, as the amount of heat supplied to a system is larger, higher is the amount of heat supplied, the change in entropy will be larger. Del S means change in entropy. High is the heat supply. High is the uh, change in entropy. This can easily be realized. And most importantly, at a low temperature, when you supply the same amount of heat as compared to when the temperature is high, at low temperature change in uh, entropy will be, uh, that means considerable, will be higher. So, low temperature, okay, this del S will be inversely proportional to T, okay. This del S will be inversely proportional to T. From these two equations, uh, this is equation 1, this is equation 2, so we will get del S is equal to Q by T. Right? So we have the formula from these two things. Okay. Del S is equal to Q by T. Right? So uh, that unavailable energy in this equation, which term gives us the unavailable energy? This is the unavailable energy, right? That means the entropy, unavailable energy or entropy. So that entropy, uh, that means now this unavailable energy, okay, is equal to unavailable energy is equal to uh, the temperature into change in entropy. So indirectly, this change in entropy relates to the unavailable energy of the system. Okay. Next, we will go to the free energy. And once we made a concept clear inside our mind that what is energy, what is unavailable energy, then we can clearly say what is free energy. Okay. Uh, now, the free energy. Okay. So, free energy, we will write one uh, line for it. Denoted as G. This is nothing but the available energy. Where the entropy was the unavailable energy, this is available energy. So we have already mentioned the amount of heat supplied to a system cannot be wholly converted to energy. Uh, that means and now whatever heat that is supplied to a system, when you subtract the unavailable energy, 
That means the rest is the available energy. How? You see, we will write now, del Z, change in free energy is equal to the amount of heat supplied to a system, that means that is del H, and we have already derived the amount of all available energy is T del S. This is the whole amount of the heat, whole amount of the heat that is supplied to the system. And when you subtract the unavailable energy, this is the unavailable energy. You subtract this unavailable energy from the total energy uh, supplied to a system. What that is rest now is the free energy. So this free energy now is nothing but that available energy is nothing but uh, the maximum energy that can be Converted to useful work. Useful work is called the available energy or the free energy. Did you get me? Now it's clear. Thank you.